like the rarest, one that can eat an entire human being whole. My record swallowing is seven minutes. Some call it seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> <laughs>
and I'm very interested in crafting my own education through programmes in London as opposed to paying £9,000 a year for university. Um, and I also have a job, so that's not very accessible. Um, and uh, yes, uh, I was wondering if anybody had any questions um, or I could just talk about my life. <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> it's just so interesting. Um, yeah, and I have a microphone because I'm superior. Um, yes, does anyone have any questions? Amelia. <laughs> do you find it difficult finding uh, courses and to educate yourself uh, without any like sources or anything? Because I know you do it all independently, so do you find it difficult? Um, uh, I didn't find it difficult. <laughs> uh, basically, um, I don't know if anyone knows the performance artist Melissa Karneski. Yes, yes. Oh God. <laughs> no. um, well, she does a cabaret course, which is like um, a week long, um, and uh, I basically made this act for that, and I've been gigging it in different course spaces. Um, but I, I did find it quite difficult to find things, especially cabaret things are quite difficult to find. There's a lot of like youth theatre in um, certain venues, which is good, but um, I think if you want to make your own solo work, which is possibly like comedy based, there are comedy things, but I think cabaret is quite like niche or something, like I think it's like, because it has this DIY quality to it, it's not something that you can, uh, it's not easily taught, um, but that, 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 that makes it great because it's so accessible to people who basically have like some masking tape and a I don't know, some shoes. <laughs> Which is an act, it's an act, right? I don't know. It's an act, I'm gonna go make it. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, uh, they're hard to find, but they're great to do. Um, and if you're in the community, I think there's a lot more stuff happening. Um, but I think what I've realized is um, people need to like share their skills. Um, that's what I find the most rewarding and important. Because um, I think a lot of like solo artists, like performance artists or live artists or cover artists, like because it's such a like one man show, one woman show, like or anything in between. <laughs> um, you, you have to. I think some people like get scared of sharing their ideas, which is a bit sad, especially when there's like a younger community that needs to learn. Yes. Yeah. Uh, on, on from what you just said. Um, I find the idea of uh, signing up to courses and uh, etc. quite daunting, um, uh, uh, and, that, and I've been to uni, so that seems like nonsense because it's basically a three-year course of doom. Um, <laughs> but so, how, do you do you find them to be easy, like not more accepting, but just easier to to, to sort of sign up for, or easier to to get involved with when they're sort of flagged as like being like career courses or, or is it just you sort of like sign up and like, well I've got to do it now because I've signed up. What do you mean to think it's, do I think that it's a bit more lenient because it's quit? Well not, li not lenient, just more like comfortable I guess, more like... Uh, uh, I think there's definitely like, kind of particularly in application forms and stuff, that like if you're signing, so like I emailed Olivia to do this because I like, just thought the event was really interesting and I'm not sure I would fit the bill but um, I just wanted to, I got really interested in going to talks about like queer history and stuff like um, Ducky's doing this queer weekend of like um, Lady Malcolm's Ball thing which is like this reenactment of this fall in the 1930s and then um, there have been like a series of talks and workshops about queer history that um, we went to yesterday which was really great and um, what was the question again? Yeah. Um, yeah, I do think they are, they're not easier, but it's more about like you as a person, which I think is great. Um, and I think that the language that people use, you can like, those people reading those applications understand what you're saying more, because it's like sort of like formative and you're talking about, I don't know, just, I think that you, it's they're better at visualizing what you're talking about, I suppose. Hi. Uh, did you feel any like pressure that you had to go to university or did you know that you didn't want to go there? Yeah, no, I definitely did. I still feel quite like jealous of people who've been to university. Really? 
or oh, that <laughs> university. Just because they have like a structure and stuff, and like they have people like encouraging them, which is um, something like I think everybody would like. This in general life, it's never want to be loved. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I wanted to go, but and then I got a job and I decided that I would work instead and just make performance because a lot of the performance that I really like <coughs> that's being made is happening like in quite a DIY space and. Um, I just kind of thought, fuck it, like, I don't have to go through an institution to, like, make stuff. That's stupid. So, is, there well, yeah. is there, like, a final talk about the whole university space thing? Is, is that... No. no. I'm, what I'm going to, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a small discussion group at the Freedom Bookshop um, in a couple of months okay. um, to provide a sort of more sort of opportunity to talk as a group rather than sort of watch people but this is like a test so um, yeah. is freedom bookshop still inaccessible i haven't been there for years. i will check it out and if it is a problem then i will change my location but when i went there donkey years ago it's up flight of stairs right i'll check it out again is, and i'll like going to the, to the store okay it's changed then yeah. okay what <laughs> <laughs> the um, my uh, my mum um, was a fine artist, and then she set up a performance art company um, where they like curated uh, live art in our house. So I basically, grew up with it happening, like lots of naked people covered in oil and <laughs> random shit, and like eating. I ate some stuff off someone when I was quite young. It was great. <laughs> yeah, and I'm um, and, yeah, and, and pri like privileged um, in terms of like what I saw and how it, I, I think how it's made me see the world. So um, I don't know. I just feel like there needs to be like more of a community of people saying to people who are going to make performance like, yes, you can do it, and you don't need this course, and you don't need this equipment. Like, it, there is ideas and everybody and that's it's kind of bullshit to think that there isn't and that you have to so yeah so I think that but also I have had like an education in a way. Yeah I guess the main reason just was that like I think we need to look at like what if we're doing something that's non academic like what do, does that process actually get you and like how can we like re, re not recreate how can we like have some of the same benefits of that outside of like mm. the structures of, of the university. Because it's like, like I don't know, everyone's experience is different, but it's not the stuff that was my one, which is like music production. It wasn't that like a big deal. Like could you got that same knowledge like in different ways, mm. I think. Mm. But only like only realise that like, active. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that. like with the anti university and stuff, like it's really cool to see people like making their own kind of like schedules and like ways of learning. I'm really into that. Um, because I feel like if someone goes to a workshop, they don't realise that that is so much knowledge and like you're teaching yourself, that's so legit. Um, and it's, it's kind of upsetting that like, you know, people are going to things but they think like, oh, because it's not in this setting, like I'm not learning something. Mm. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been wasting 23 years just like, taking to this and playing computer games. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it's like, like, you know, it's kind of... What do you mean? Well, just like, wasn't actually like didn't actually do like wasn't there like every day like doing like music stuff. Oh right, yeah, sorry. Oh right, no, 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 because I because I didn't hear you say before that you went. Yeah. Gosh, I was like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's do that together. <laughs> I get you a number. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that the reason that I wanted to do this is because I wanted to build up a, a sort of programme of events and sort of skills and idea sharing. And I think that's really important to do it at like a community level. Mm -hmm. And so, and I think what you were saying that people do do think that it's it, if they don't go on a, a proper structured course that it's not valuable learning. And I think it is absolutely. Um, and that's what I feel passionate about, and that's why I wanted to to start this. And I think it's also important to consider people who are excluded from education completely um, and give them a platform to, to really sort of explore ideas and discuss and meet people that they may not have otherwise done so. So that's kind of... I think of it's about changing role models as well. Yeah. And like, so I, I go and see someone, I, I'm an, I work as an actress, and um, I go and see her to like help me with my auditions and stuff. 
because I've not been to drama school, so I need like I need someone to help me with that, like with accents and shit. Like, yeah. like and, and I didn't want to just do it on my own because there's this kind of thing about acting where it's like, yeah, just do it on your own. Like, let's all suffer together in this like cesspit of like fucking actor shit. Like, I'm not really into that. And um, so, <laughs> so like I, she helps me, and I, I, I think what's been really like what's been interesting for me is this like shift between. Um, like ask, like asking for help, or like just seeking it myself. Mm. Being like, oh, this person has taught me, but they're not a teacher. They've not. I've not said, oh, you're my teacher. Like you're Mrs. Love, blah blah blah. blah. Mm. It's just like picking up people that are your role models because there are so little role models and what I want to do. Well, there are, but you just have to be clever about it. I yeah. Yeah. You get it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, if because. Um, uh, I feel like every other day you're like, oh yeah, I'm doing this, oh yeah, I'm doing this workshop, or I'm going to this, and I have li these things, these are all things that never even like cross my radar. Of, like, I don't. So how, where do you find this stuff? Like, how how could anyone else yeah. be be, yeah. be be told about these things in time to sign up and instead of just being like, oh, that happened last week, great, I didn't have a clue that was. Yeah, yeah. Some revelation. Match your ghost. <laughs> Um, okay, so there's, uh, I basically, I'm really anal about it, and I, I sign up to like every mailing list ever, um, and I also like get all the leaflets that I can, and um, there's this thing called the Digest, which I'm going to sign up to, it's like an um, arts admin newsletter, which like collates basically like all the creative things that happen in London, and tells you like all these opportunities, so there's, um, there's like summer schools, there's like, um, workshops, seminars and shit, and it's all like from different places. Um, I think like the youth groups uh, in art galleries, so like, there's this thing called Art Assassins, which is part of the SLG, like South London Gallery. Pretty much every art gallery has like a youth board thing, and they're like so, like some of them are shit, because they don't have any funding anymore, but m most of them still have some kind of like, sort of like, um, strings attached to like, whether they bring in artists and stuff and we listen to them. Um, or, or like uh, theatres also have like outreach things like um, this Young Vic Theatre has um, this thing called Taking Part which we did a play together I did, that's quite like straight theatre but um, that was like free um, and that was like just I signed up to the mailing list and they like emailed me about that um, I think it's just like basically pretty much spending like a day every week just being like what's happening like, I need to book this, 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 this. Uh, I don't know, and also like communities, like I, lots of my friends tell me about things because they're in the same kind of like queer live art cabaret community. Um, that's really important as well, and I think that we need to share more. Um, like I said, like I think if you're doing solo work and stuff, there's like, and I found myself doing this, like seeing an opportunity and being like, I'm not going to tell this person about it because she makes better work than me, so fuck her. Like, really, really, I'm a great person other than that. Um, but like that, because how else is any, like how are we going to just like rise above it if we don't have children? Um, but like saying that, you know, there needs to be like more of a, like Ideas Tap just got shut down, which was brilliant, and like also gave you like um, a page for you to put, like share stuff that you've worked on, which was great because like, I mean, like, fuck, I don't think you put my website, like, destroying in 2005. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, yeah, there needs to be, like, a place where all those things are. There needs to be more awareness, because there are so many opportunities. Um, and also, they're being made. Like, this is an opportunity that's being made. Like, uh, I think, yeah, no, scratches and stuff are really good. People seem to think, people just seem to be like, oh, it's a scratch. That's, like, where you learn, putting something up and just, like, failing miserably. It's great. It's really good. So yeah. I think we're going to have to move on now because we've only got like half an hour left and the amazing Live Winter is coming up next. So thank you very much. Thank you very much.